Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to free up some space on your iPhone. So right now, if I go to my photos, I'm going to see that I have 423 photos right there, plus some pictures. Photo stream, doesn't really matter. That's all online. So what I want to do is free up some space. So Google Photos is excellent for that since it's unlimited, so you can just do that. So I'm going to launch Google Photos right now. So once I've launched Google Photos, it should make a backup of my entire pictures and videos and everything. It's unlimited as you guys know, so that's free. And it's gonna be all online, all right? So right now, what you guys should be seeing is this. Right now on the top, it might tell you guys it's making that backup. So just wait for the backup to be done. And then once that's done and you guys see a screen like this, so I'm just swiping down a little bit and then this will come up. I can see backup complete plus free up space. So I can just tap on free up space and it's gonna delete those photos from within my iPhone However, it's going to keep them on Google Photos. So let's say you guys don't see that for some reason. There's other ways to get to it. So right here on the top left hand corner, you guys will see the hamburger menu. Just tap right there. And right here, we're going to see all this. So the fourth option you guys will see is free up space. So we can also do it from here. So let's just tap on free up space. And it's going to tell us this. So it's going to delete those photos from within our iPhone. However, again, it's going to keep it on Google Photos online. OK, so let's just delete. What happens once it gets deleted? So it gets deleted from your internal storage from your iPhone. If you guys have an iPad, same deal. Then you guys might get a message like this. So just tap on done. And we have to just go back into our photos. OK, so here's my photos. And from here, you guys can see camera roll only has two pictures. So only two of them stay there. So if you guys just swipe downwards, we're going to see this right here. Our very last option says recently delete it. And then here are all the pictures. OK, so at this point, I would suggest just delete them all. To do that on the top right hand side, you guys will see select. So let's just tap right there on select. And from down here below on the bottom left hand side, you guys will see delete all. Tap on delete all, delete, and there we go. So right now, it's going to permanently delete from our iPhone, OK? So you guys will no longer see these pictures. So it might take a little bit of lag for this to actually do its thing. But other than that, once it's done, you guys will see this. Recently delete it, no photos or videos, and you guys are good to go. So that means if I go back, again, camera roll, I should only see two pictures. And I can check my storage just by going into my settings. So if I go right into my settings, I can just scroll down until it says general. Just tap on general. Under general, go into iPhone storage. Under iPhone storage, this might lag a little bit again. So it won't work right away if you guys just did this. You guys might still see photos with a huge thing right there. So maybe 12 gigs or something like that. But once it refreshes, it should tell you that your photos, for example, right here, it's only telling me it's taking up 735 megabytes, which sounds good because I know there's still some videos and some photos left over here and there. So that's OK. So there is that lag time. So even if it tells you a huge size, just turn off your phone, turn it back on or just turn even close settings and go back into your settings and then this should refresh. Again, in Google Photos, that means you guys have to have Wi-Fi or Internet in general in order to access your Google Photos. I'm going to go right into my Google Photos. So let's say you guys don't have Wi-Fi or Internet or anything like that. You guys can still see these thumbnails. So those thumbnails take a little bit of space, not too much. All right. On your phone. However, if you guys want to open up a certain picture, then you guys will require Wi-Fi or data, some type of Internet. So you guys can actually view that picture in full HD. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.